by the way. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm kind of getting up to speed here. Can I put this? Can I put this always on top? I guess I can. background music is a little loud. A little louder than I intended. Let me go find the window. Is that still audible? No, not quite. That's probably where I want it. <clears throat> anyway. Greetings to Uruguay. President. <clears throat> anyway, yeah, I um, <clears throat> my neck got better. Fortunately, uh, I was really worried that I had uh, uh, just injured it terribly, um, but uh, that did get better. And then I started working on a new video. Wait, isn't this Spy Hunter? This is described. The file. The game name is Action Fighter, but I swear, isn't this a, a knockoff of of? Spy Hunter, or something else along those lines, like verbatim, or was that game actually called Action Fighter? Oops. Anyway, yeah, I um, I got better, but uh, <clears throat> started working on a new video, and it's just a huge undertaking. Uh, I decided to uh, oh doing the jumpy. Um, I decided to tackle uh, kind of an enormous topic. I've got this video switcher that I'm going to be covering, and I kind of decided that, like, I couldn't, I couldn't pick any particular, like, I couldn't pick any particular specific things about it that stood out more than others. It's just really the whole thing as a unit is, is what's interesting. <laughs> like, it's either interesting or it isn't. You know, pick one. Um, you, you, you're either, you're, People are either going to be fascinated by everything it does, or will not be interested at all, and so I kind of decided, well, I'm just going to do a two-hour long video and go for that Tim Rogers jam, because um, people keep asking me, people keep going like, hey, when are you, gonna, you know, please do like an hour and a half long video about this, and I'm like, I don't think you, I don't think you realize what you're asking for, but sure, <laughs> okay, I'll give it a shot, um, <clears throat> and so, ah, oh, damn it, I was actually doing pretty well there. Oh yeah, death slaps. Uh, shoot, what's the what's the death? Song? Oh man, I haven't listened to them in ages. What's the death song I used to rock to? Oh man. <clears throat> yes, this is Z Z uh, this is ZX Spectrum. Yes. So there's actually a sequel to this on the ZX Spectrum, um, and I'm gonna pull that up here in a minute. Uh, basically, the I, as soon as I realized this was just Spy Hunter, but not Spy Hunter. Um, I was like, oh, okay, maybe I'll go do something else. And then I started playing it, and I was actually doing all right. Uh, so, uh, kind of sticking around for a little bit. Like, I don't know, whenever I play Spy Hunter, I, I pretty much just get trashed really fast. So, doing remarkably well. Also, the, the graphics in this are really not half bad. Um, <clears throat> as I said in my last stream, I've been hating on the ZX Spectrum. Ah, damn it. I've been hating on the ZX Spectrum for many years, and um, I think maybe I've been a little unfair. Uh, you know, this is this is crunchy in a way I wish it wasn't. And the interesting thing about the ZX Spectrum, let me uh, let me show you something. I'm gonna go to the general options here. I'm gonna set the emulation speed to 150 percent, and now, just like that, this feels a lot more like the games that it was emulating, uh, if you will. Like if this were an NES title. It would probably be a lot quicker than the ZX Spectrum version. Um, and I get why they didn't run games this fast, because at the frame rate of this machine, this would have been impossible. You would have you would have crashed instantly. Um, but it's intriguing to note that had... Had... Uh, ah, damn. Had the company 
thought of the idea of releasing a ZX Spectrum that was no different other than having boosted the CPU speed by uh, 50%, which is a thing that they could have done by the end of the, the run of the ZX Spectrum. Um, like technology had gotten better, etc. They could have put better RAM chips, better CPU, etc. in there and just provided a switch on the side to double the CPU clock. And it would have made a lot of games way more exciting. Like I've put a bunch of different games into this uh, emulator and run it at 150% speed. And I got to say, like, uh, it makes them all better. Uh, they all like they all start running at the speed that they feel like they should have been running at, you know. And like I said, it's a given that the reason they can't, you know, that they can't run the underlying game at that speed is just that the frame rate is so low that you would you just wouldn't be able to play it. Oh, I'm sorry. This one does not have a uh, uh, sequel. That's that's this is Action Fighter. The one that had a sequel was Action Force. This is Action Force. Hello, Peak. One of my favorite things is just that uh, I've been running these uh, ZX Spectrum uh, songs in the background uh, of this of this stream, this this and the last one. Oh, I was just about to quip that I hadn't encountered a game yet that actually had music in it. I know that's loud, but this is the ZX Spectrum experience. It it kind of slaps. Is this literally the British G.I. Joe? Did they brand it differently over there? Is this like Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles? God, this goes hard. Okay. I think we heard the whole thing. All right, Kempston. Hi there. That's me. All right. Whoa. What? Whoa, it's like a shmup. But you could turn? What? Was was that a warp? Did I die? I think I died. Okay. Okay, so I've got... Do, do I destroy that, or is that like a... He just blew the Jeep up! TFW, you blew the Jeep up. Wow. Okay. I'm learning. I'm learning every day. Oh, I see. I can destroy those. Okay. Why does it say five on it? Can I? Can I? Splash. Damn it. Ben, which noise? You got to clarify. Oh no. Really? Oh my god, there's so many ways to die in this game. I get some Fs in the chat. Um oh I guess it could be S. I suppose that's possible. Um you know, actually this doesn't seem that bad, so we're gonna put some more time into this. Y'all enjoy this music while I get a beer. Oh god, I skipped it. I skipped it. No.
Okay, let's get to the menu so we can get this crisp can check. We're drinking a Noli Cascade Fog Hazy India Pale Ale. Let's get that pop. Yeah, there we go. Anyway, no, I agree. Um, that is the noise that Clive makes. If you hear a cheerful noise, uh, that's probably a noise that Clive makes. <clears throat> <laughs> Thank you. I will have fun. You have a good night, too. Yeah, I really like the harmonized beeps. They're so pleasant. There was a, there was a really nice intro song. All right. Let's play some more GI Ninja Mutant whatever. Action Force. <laughs> Dang it. Dang it. Uh, anyway. Uh, oh. I did it again. It's it feels like it's getting it feels like it's getting harder to control as I play. Oh man. So my question is that green thing there, I have to assume, is not an item. I don't think Hi Nadia. Yes, we're gaming. Um that's what we do on this channel, right? This is gaming YouTube. Uh I'm one of the main one of the main gamers. Okay, it's, it's really cool that I bugged it, and now his bullets are coming from the wrong spot. That's dope. Oh god, I don't know what's going on. I think all the graphics are glitched out. Whoa! Yes, my neck has gotten all the way better. Um, well... At least in so far as, like, I've had neck pain for the last uh, uh, five years, at least. So, um, you know, I still hurt a little bit in the morning. But, uh, yeah, the the mess that was going on that was making me basically, you know, incapable of doing anything, that's that's over. Um, very pleased about that. Okay, so this one, this game here was a Virgin title, Virgin Games. It was released in 87. And there's a sequel, Action Force 2, same subtitle, that came out in 88. Let's take a look at that. Whoa. It's worrying when it, when the credits specify the programmer, the graphic artist, but no musician. Ouch! <laughs> Press C for control. I will. Um, Kempston, Boris. So the only, the only sound in this is just that. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, oh, ouch! Okay, okay, huh? This is a completely different type of game. This is a, this is a um, what the hell? Huh? This is a, a like a light gun shooter of the variety that uh, that one used. Wait a minute, is that my guy? Oh, wait, 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 is this, um, what was that game for the NES where you couldn't directly control the character, you could only, um, you could shoot him and pop him up in the, pop him up in the air, and you had to, like, use that technique to avoid dangers? I think that's what's going on here. Yeah, yeah, I'm just supposed to protect this guy. Whoa! So yeah, I've got a gun, and I can shoot, there we go, I've got a gun, and I can shoot like, uh, you know, it's, it's a machine gun, um, it's got like a charge meter down there, so infinite ammo, and then, oh no, oh, I guess not infinite ammo, interesting, so out of energy, I wonder if I was supposed to be, uh, uh, Baby Boom, I think, was an earlier game. This was a game that actually came out with the original NES, I believe. It was like a 1983 uh, or 1985. It came out with the damn um, the light gun. Um, interesting. So, this was saying that I was out of energy. Now, I do seem to have what kind of looks like an energy gauge over there to the left. But that was much lower earlier, and I don't know what I did to make it go up, if anything. Oh, no! Oh, no! 
<laughs> yeah, the idea of like games where you don't directly control the character is a fascinating idea. No, 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 no. There was there was, so it was it was a light gun game where you had to shoot this guy would just constantly walk from left to right and you had to shoot him to pop him up in the air. That was literally that was what the game was and other and like pop other things up in the air. Um, the original Famicom, the light gun was available as a as a peripheral, but uh, I don't think they had it for a couple years after the machine came out. Um, but when the NES came out, they had it at release. Yeah, and I, I think you're right as well about the paper airplane. There we go, Gumshoe, that's the one. Yeah, Gumshoe is like uh, a surprisingly good-looking game. Uh, of just, just of a type I do not wish to play. Um, but, uh, uh, very... Oh, God! Wait a minute. So, I shoot the guy out of that window in the upper right, and then I guess another guy pops out afterwards, and it stops being a window? Huh. I do wish... Like, I, I know there's artifact color issues on the, uh, on the, uh, uh, the ZX Spectrum, but man, I really do wish that the uh, the character here had a, a traveling color around him. Oh my god, I keep getting I keep getting got on this exact same screen over and over, and I'm honestly not sure how to avoid it because I need to. Yeah, exactly. If I could if I could whip the controller if I could whip the cursor over to the right real quick. I'd be able to do this. Um, yeah, see, you know what? My energy meter on the left is low again, and I don't know what that represents. Ah! How am I... How am I... But... Yes. The uh, You'll Call Now uh, commercial is extremely funny. Oh man, this is incredible. I'm not going to play this forever, but I'm not done with it yet. Although, you know what? I did just notice something, uh, which is that... Uh, where's my pause button? There we go. I did just notice something, which is that I have my uh, screen filter set incorrectly, so give me a second. Filtering... Point. There, that looks better. Game should look better now. Yeah, I mean, I, I did do that. The trouble is, like... Okay, so I'm hitting the guy on the right. Then I have to go try and hit the guy on the left. But the guy on the right pops back in. So let's let's try this again. Okay, so I need to pop him. Then him. Then him again. Then him again. Whoa. And then out of energy. What what is that? What is out of energy? I guess I gotta read the. I guess I gotta read the uh, manual. Um, I'm gonna look the manual up for this because this game's interesting. Uh, Ruby, uh, in response to your question, because you must have missed my can check, which is fair. I'm sipping on a No Lee Cascade Fog Hazy IPA. That's what we're drinking today. Uh, anyway, let's find the manual for this game. I think that's a worthwhile use of our time, and let's get our music back. All right, this is Action Force 2 ZX Spectrum. Um, well, that's the thing. There's no ammo as such, so I'm not entirely certain. Yeah, I'm using a joystick. Uh, well, I'm using a, using a gamepad. Uh, I kind of feel like I should have like a, a terrible Atari 2600 joystick with a USB uh, connector. You're right. Uh, actually, yes. Um beer names have been like increasingly approaching weed names for some time beer is essentially the weed of the boring white dude uh, let's see um do we have the do we have the manual here where is the manual here it is instructions all right look out cobra action force are back 
In the rundown slums of the city, Cobra-backed terrorists are holding innocent citizens hostage. Action Force have vowed to rescue as many hostages as possible from the clutches of the evil Cobra enemy. Two of their best men have been assigned to the job. Wow, uh, apparently... Okay, apparently the uh, two characters in this game are called Quick Kick and Airtight. Now, I don't know if this is, again... Hang on a second. Is this literally... This was a cartoon or something, right? It must have been. Yes. Based on the Action Man toy line used to introduce G.I. Joe. Okay. Um, anyway, holy crap, those names. Uh, all right, so... This guy, so it, it sounds like we're going to do a couple different, basically, mini-games. One of them is uh, this uh, quick kick guy, and then we'll switch to Airtight. Uh, or no, no, I'm sorry, you're playing Airtight. That's what's going on. Quick kick is the guy on the screen. You're playing Airtight. Uh, so... <clears throat> Yeah, so he's going to climb to the top of a building, and then he's going to rescue some hostages. And you just have to shoot everybody on the way there. So we do know that. <laughs> that was correct. And then at the end of the first level, I get to choose weapons. I can switch between a machine gun, a machine gun, a bazooka, or a bio gun. Um, how many levels do we have? Oh, okay. Here's what's going on. Oh, geez. Uh, I tried this earlier. Man, I'm irritated. So apparently he has a health bar. Um... But, or sorry, it's not it's not a health bar, it's an energy bar. It's just like his stamina. And I'm supposed to be shooting the American flags. That replenishes the energy. Now, I tried that. I tried shooting that earlier and nothing happened. But I think that's because at the time my energy bar was full. Um, also, real quick, apparently on every third level, so this must have a minimum of six levels, but it might be as many, it might be nine or more uh, if, if, if it's an enough that they can say every third level instead of levels three and six. Um, <clears throat> anyway, it says we're going to have to fight a battle tank. Oh, and apparently... And apparently the, the weapon control changes when we get there, and we're going to have to pound the button uh, in order to keep the machine gun firing. And uh, we have to score 39 hits uh, before it kills us. Okay. So that is the whole game. I, I didn't have anything wrong, necessarily. Uh, however, information when we get to the end of this first level, because I am going to get to the end of this first level. If we take the uh, bazooka, we have to tap the button every time to fire it, but it smashes windows and damages walls, and if we get the bio gun, it shoots through foreground objects. Another interesting thing, I don't know if anybody noticed, I was looking at it, um, but uh, in the lower left, there's like a gun sight that shows a copy of the pixels that I'm pointed at. And I was thinking that it might be infrared vision. Um, but uh, it's from here, it sounds like maybe it is. So I, I gotta pay attention to that. The other thing is, it says there's some tips down here, and it says to keep shooting the flags as many times as possible to build your energy bar up. So we'll keep that in mind. Also, apparently we're gonna encounter some dumpsters, and we have to make sure we shoot those. Um, to be, yeah, I mean, Honestly, like, having read the... You're supposed to read the instructions, is the thing. That, you know, I, I think... I, 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 was about to, I was about to make a quip that I think is totally unfair. I was going to say, people get upset about this. But by people, I'm just talking about myself. Um, I don't know. Maybe maybe some other, like, game YouTubers, game reviewers, etc. Um, do the same thing. But just the, the tendency to load up a game just like go, Oh, this is terrible. This game sucks. Oh, can't, nothing, nothing makes sense. You're supposed to read the, the instructions. You're supposed to read the manual. It's literally 100% of the time assumed. It wasn't until later that games started being designed on the assumption that you won't have a manual or won't read it, which was only because people kept not reading them. If you read them, a lot of... I have discussed... This sounds so stupid to say it this way. But I'm... There's just nothing... There's, there's no other way I could say it. I started enjoying old games a lot more when I started reading the manual. <laughs> Like, if you read the manual, they're actually fun. If you don't, they're baffling. You know, you read the manual, and it's like, oh, you're supposed to walk in front of doors and press K to open the door. And then you discover there's a whole dimension of the game you didn't know about. Um, one of the best examples of this I, I, I always think about is uh, Crontendo. I have so much respect for Crontendo. Uh, the guy is doing the Lord's work. Um, Crontendo is playing the um, Hokuto no Ken game, um, and... He uh, he just spent the he spent the entire time circling around the first level and just like yeah I guess this is the whole game and gave it like the worst possible rating he could essentially not that he does ratings um, and then like a couple episodes later somebody emailed him and was like you're supposed to press up to go indoors 
<laughs> like, and he went back and played it again. He's like, okay, the game's still not great, but now I see there's a lot more to it. Um, and if he'd read, if he looked up the manual at the, you know, at the point where he went, well, this game looks stupid and pointless and, and, and literally does not make any sense that they would sell this. If he had looked up the manual, um, then, you know, he would have realized what was going on. Um, and would have had a much different review. So I've tried to get myself to start actually doing that. And with, like, 8-bit home computer games, uh, that is that is what I've started doing. Whenever I encounter a game where it's like, okay, I don't like this. I understand how this works, but I don't like it. I'll move on. But if I encounter a game where I, I say I don't understand how this is a game, then I make myself go look up the instructions, because it might actually be not bad. Um, so for what it's worth, as far as rental games, I do remember it used to be that rental games, when I rented them from, you know, um, I actually, <laughs> I actually rented not from a major chain. Uh, my hometown had a local chain that existed in like three California towns. Uh, and so I was renting from Placer Video, um, which was uh, like your prototypical, like one-off, two-off video store. And every single one of their titles was in the same light blue case um but i i swear i remember opening up game cases and finding the instruction manuals in there and they had been like laminated so they actually had a solution for that but that would have been a huge pain in the ass uh okay anyway with the information we now have let's go ahead and play the game um let's go ahead and shoot that american flag go ahead and blast the shit out of that american flag all right shoot this one too Okay. I'm not. Oh, I see. Okay. I had misread part of the UI. I see what's going on now. I had been under the impression that the lower left was my energy bar. Well, maybe it is. Nope, nope, nope. It's the one on the right. The one on the right is the energy bar. I don't know what the one on the lower left is. Oh my god, that's my number of lives. That's what's going on. Ah. Oh. Hey, random. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Nadia, you're totally right. There's there's like all these games where if you read the manual, it totally tells you that you have like not always infinite continues, but usually at least some continues. This game's really hard, but I, I can actually see how this would be a pretty enjoy- Whoa. Useless! What? Oh, okay, I was supposed to- I think that guy killed the hostages. Brad, you're kidding, right? You are kidding, right? You Please, God. Please. Answer me! I have to know! Uh, we are currently playing Action Force 2 for the ZX Spectrum. And the music you're listening to is not from that game. Okay, I think that I think I figured it out. I think the timing is actually such that you don't need to shoot this guy. Yeah, that's what it is. You don't need to shoot that guy at all. You don't need to shoot this guy either. Okay, I'm almost out of health here, which really sucks. Okay, there we go. Now I can try and focus on... Ah, it's really hard to hit the flag! Oh, wow, did we do it? <sighs> Brad, that is tragic. I don't even want to know that. That's horrifying. Hey, you know what? We did it. Okay, so... I feel like there's this category of uh, video games, very British, although I think this one isn't British, surprisingly. Oh, no, it is. That's right. Action Force 2, that's a British game, uh, or it's a British uh, property. Um, but uh, let me go ahead, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to uh, drop a save here. I don't know if I can save state with this thing. I'm going to give it a shot. Um, anyway, uh, Yes, um, this is a, th sorry, this is like a light gun shooter, except there's no light gun. So I just have a joystick, and I'm just moving the, uh, moving the gun around and trying to shoot guys. But yeah, the, uh, the, the dude in blue, that's the, the protagonist. Well, that's the thing, Ben. I was saying that, um, 
the manual says that every three levels you have to fight a tank, so this thing could have a lot of levels for all we know. Yeah, yeah, I think Action Force 1, I, I don't really know what the deal was there, but Action Force 2 really seems like it's it's got something going on. I'm going to take the Zooka, um, and uh, I'm actually I'm a little worried that there's going to be splash damage from this thing, so there's a possibility I'm going to hit my guy. Yeah, exactly. It's Pac-Man 2 or, like, um, Pac-Man 2 or uh, we were talking earlier about uh, Gumshoe was another game uh, that used a, a similar principle. Um, the whole idea of, you know, a game where you control, you, 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 you have agency, but you don't control the protagonist, the main character, directly is a fascinating idea. And uh, it's, it's neat that it actually got, ah, okay, there we go. Uh, it's it's really hard to hit these flags. Oh wow! Ah. <laughs> okay. The um the name of the channel, the name of the broadcast, is, uh is a joke. Um about the uh, Sound Blaster Live. Um because I was like, oh, Cathode Ray Dude Live, and then I remember that there was a Sound Blaster Live 24 bit. Uh, was a popular sound card for a long time. Oh, you know what? I see what's going on. When you shoot the flags, it doesn't generate a sound. So you can't exactly tell that you've done it, but you did do it. Okay. That's making more sense. Um, yeah, it does. It seems to be deformable terrain. Yep. That's cool, right? I don't seem to have an ammo limit, so... Oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> I was screwing around! Ah. Oh. Yeah, this is actually black and white, the, 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 um, Peter Molino game. There's always guys in the trash cans. I have to shoot the flag. It's how I regenerate energy. So I'm supposed to not shoot, you know, my guy, obviously. Um, and what's difficult about this is like, ah, damn. Yeah, I'm the Overwatch. We're actually, we're playing Overwatch right now. All right, I think I've got enough out of this game. Now that we've actually seen what it's all about, I'm going to go ahead and move on. By the way, um, uh, for what it's worth, uh, so in my previous stream, pardon me, in my previous stream, I was playing games where I had gone through, um, filtered through and found interesting games that actually had like either worthwhile gameplay or otherwise interesting. But at the moment, I've had such good luck with the Spectrum lately that I've decided to just go through uh, and just play some directly out of the uh, directly out of the folder here. Uh, so we'll ju we're just, you know, trying our luck here. So I might encounter some real crap. Uh, okay. With a name like Peter Molino, I've got to imagine the guy is European. Is he American? Because if he's not, i got to imagine he made Specky games. Oh, Lord. Uh, oh, oh, okay. With the Amiga Boing Ball. Alright, so I'm guessing that the goal here is I just have to get through without getting destroyed. Uh, oh! Hmm. Okay. Now, is that time-based, or do we get up close to it and it just... Hmm. Oh, I see. No. Hmm. Yeah, I figured he was British. All right, yeah, he's he has to have made a, a Spectrum game, right? How could he not? Oh, dang it. Do I have a life counter? Oh, I see. So... Oh! Oh, okay. Okay, okay, so... Okay, so here's what's going on. If I press fire, I start bouncing. And the more I bounce, the higher I go. Every time that I bounce, every time I hit the ground, I have the option to move left or right. So if I hold down right, then I'll go off bouncing like that. 
But of course, then there's the fact that the unsurprising uh, quality that um, if I go too far, I'm gonna, just going to keep bouncing. So there's sort of a yeah, there's sort of a um, sort of a um, sort of a physics to this. Okay. I see what they're doing here, and the fact that it's a multi-screen game. Oh, he did bullfrog. Okay, all right. The fact that it's a multi-screen game, I think I can go back here and start out from here. And I think... Oop, not quite. Okay. Let's get right here. Boing, and go. Got it. You know, the other thing I'm going to say is that... If I had to pick a person who I felt was most likely to have made an Amiga game at some point, I feel like Peter Molino is up there. So there's an interesting um, sort of manual dexterity that's required for this that's not common uh, in uh, that's not common in um, video games in general. It's a thing. It's sort of thing that happens frequently with experimental games from uh, from this era. You know, a lot of a lot of interesting stuff that came out for for 8-bit systems is that you have to make sure when the ball is bouncing, you have to make sure that you're not holding down a direction when it hits the ground. Because if you do, it's going to take off in that same direction again. But if you don't, it will stop dead right where it is. And uh, it's critical... Oops. It's critical, of course, that you uh, not go bouncing off in a direction you don't intend because they all contain death, right? Because, again, very British game. Okay. And also, of course... Ah, shoot. Uh, I'm pretty sure Syndicate was a bullfrog game, so that would make sense. The other thing is that you can only move at 45s. And if you mess up, then yeah, you go you go flying off like that. This is a pretty pretty cool. Get that bounce going, take off. Oh. Whoa. Is is it just me or is there a strong like axiom verge sort of energy going on with this with where we are, right? Anybody else getting that? So, I bounced down. Can I not bounce up? I guess I can't. Ugh. It's also interesting that, you know, this being uh, sort of a, uh, a brain teaser kind of game, uh, that it doesn't have a life limit. Right, because I, I guess it's sort of assumed that you're probably going to. Uh... Oh my God! Okay, so I just hecked up. I've just hecked up, and uh, consequently, I got myself caught and thrown back several stages. Oh, that is brutal. So you have to wait. You have to wait. Dink, 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 dink. Right, and now we can go. Oh, boy. Yeah, oh, exactly, right? There's a time limit, but within that time, you've got... Oh! That's sort of an elevator thing. That's how you can get back uh, get back up. Why would you want to do that, though? Or maybe, I guess, maybe that's a trap. Alright. So it's... The first time through, I was able to get over this thing. There we go. Oh, no. All right. Very important that I not get... There we go. Oh. It's just so tempting to, uh, to hold the button down when you want to go right, but you're not actually at the point yet where you can, uh... where you can reach it, you know, on the 45. So it's sort of, um... It's kind of like a tongue twister of a of a game. Okay, we're gonna slow down here. There we go. I'm putting this in the interesting folder for sure. I mean, this is definitely interesting. 
Ah, oh, no! Infuriating. But, frankly, look, if you're playing games on the ZX Spectrum and you're not looking to be enraged, I just don't know why you showed up. That's the thing, right? Is that, yeah, this, like I said, this has sort of an Axiom Verge feel to it, but I, I guess a, a more general way to say that is that it has a Metroidvania kind of feel to it. You know, um, it feels like I'm just exploring this space. And obviously we've only encountered a few different types of items, you know, in that space, but I, I can easily imagine more. You know, I can easily imagine this having a little more to it. That was 4% of the game. Imagine 100%ing this. Yeah, I agree, Jason. And the interesting thing about that is that the ZX Spectrum was not incapable of... Uh, hey, Hudson. Um, the ZX Spectrum was not incapable of... Um, uh, uh, you know, your basic lookup table based uh, physics, you know, th uh, this could have reasonable physics. Um, not quite Mario because of the frame rate, but it, it could have physics that made sense. I feel like the 45 degree thing is largely because uh, it makes the game harder. I think it is intended to make the game harder. I think if this were a simple platformer, I would have just blazed through all that. And so, pardon me. And so I think that that's very much on purpose for it to be uh, awkward like that. Pardon me. Uh, burping. Uh, Sorry, I just want to... Uh... I, I, I can't easily show it to you, but the logo for the game that just popped up on this music... Uh, actually, you know what? I can. This is Suivo's World. Unsurprisingly, I do have that. So give me a sec. A second. Sorry, I'm just taking care of a little bit of social media maintenance here. Okay, there we go. Thrust? Okay. I assume you don't mean on the ZX Spectrum, but maybe. Oh, yeah. Random. That's valid. Um, right. Uh, you know, if if they were both... If, if everything was better, it would be better. Um, what, uh, what was the name of this game? This was... I'll go back and find it. Anyway... Really? Oh. There we go. Yeah! Check out that delightful title screen. Oofa doofa. Oh. Alright, well, let me... Okay, let me go back up and store the... I, I meant to get a copy of the last game we were playing, which was... That was... I think that was Action Reflex. Um, which I thought was how you cheated on the, uh, the Nintendo. Anyway... Let's see what this actually is. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. This is going to be an isometric game. Oh, no. Oh, no. I got owned. Okay. For whatever whatever hell I've given the Spectrum, um, you know, I feel some uh, some remorse for. Uh, I feel like I was... I feel like I was unfair to it. Ouch! But... Uh, isometric... Adventure games are the worst crap imaginable, and I don't apologize for that opinion. Uh, I think the game is flipping me off right now, literally. Uh, th these things are terrible. These things are awful, and it is tragic that they ever existed. I don't, like, did anyone ever enjoy these? If so, like, glad to hear it, but, uh, what if there was a little guy going around? Uh... They're just, they're just so dreadful. They're just so, so dreadful. They're, they always have like 75,000 rooms. Um, I don't remember random. No, I'm, I'm talking about 8-bit. I'm talking about British ZX Spectrum um, isometric games. There's modern ones I think are good. There's 90s and on ones I think are good. Just the ZX Spectrum ones. <sighs> yeah. I mean, good is a strong term. It was well made compared to some others, but, you know. Uh, degeneration. Wait a minute. Am I thinking of the same? Hang on a second. Yes, degeneration is really good. Can't argue with that. Really solid. Um... Anyway, uh, so let's define our keys here. Uh, I think we can't pick... Yeah, we can't do um, joystick. So left, 
right thrust oh whoops um oh shoot abort oh no yes okay left right oh no what's going on here oh no what's going on here What the hell? I can't set any of the keys. Let me try this again. Let me try this again. Something's gone terribly wrong here. Reload. Okay, so... A-S-I-P-M. God, that sucks. Oh, that's rough, too. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay, there we go. All right, this is your basic, like, lunar lander type of thing. Except we got a gun. This game explores the question, what if lunar lander had a gun? Yeah, I mean, British games have a very distinct... British games have very distinct qualities. They're very consistent. I don't know why. Um, you know... It, 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 you know, French games have, have certain very consistent qualities as well. Um, oh, you sh do you shoot... No, I don't think you shoot the fuel. I think that went poorly for me. Whoa, we just go into space? Whoa. Oh, did we get the ball? Okay. All right, let's try it again. Oh, you know what the problem is? I know what's wrong. Okay. Yep. Um, I forgot I had that. And it's the same button. There we go. Got it. Got it. Okay. Oh, I've played this. I've played this for other platforms. This got... There was a Genesis game based on this, I think. Oh, no. It's so heavy. Oh, it's so heavy. Yeah, this is cool. Ah, no. Oh, no. Hey, can anybody tell me what my goal is so I don't waste any more time here? Because I feel like if I knew it, I could progress. Yeah, these physics are super dope. They're real good. Do I just, do I just bail? Maybe I just bail. Maybe I have what I was looking for. I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Oh, I did. Yeah, this is totally a Flash game. That's true. Okay. Jill the Jungle 2. Jill goes underground. Ah! Uh, this also has a strong feeling of like, uh, oh, God! You know what this feels like? Hang on. Uh, Subterranea? Um, or whatever that was for the Genesis? Yeah. I would I would I would bet all the money I have that there was lander for the acorn uh for like the BBC micro. Ah, uh, come on, pick it up. Buddy, you did it before. What? What? Okay, so you know what? Um this is neat, but there's a there's a thrust too, and let's take a look at that. Left, right, thrust, pick up. Ooh, I shouldn't have done that. Fire. Left, right, thrust, pick up, fire. W S A D P O.
Well, something didn't go right because I can't fire. Whoa. Okay. Hmm. Oh, hey, Ritz. Jill the Jungle 2. Jill goes underground. This is super cool. This game is dope. Let me just get that out there. This is super cool. It's hard. Okay, so... Exactly know what that is. Ah, shoot. How far is that gonna knock me back? All the way to the beginning, you think? Nope. Oh, so it's sort of. Oh, that was interesting. That uh, screen transition effect was super cool. This is ambitious. The people who made this really uh, just gave a crap. I, I respect that. You gotta appreciate a well made thing, you know? I'm getting better and better at appreciating things regardless of my current context, you know? Um, I wasn't around for this stuff. The earliest NES games I played were like Super Mario Bros. 2. Uh, or the earliest games, I, sh I should say, were, you know, Super Mario Bros. 2 and whatnot for the NES. Um, considerably better than a lot of this 8-bit stuff in, in a lot of the same... Um, uh, sorry, this is so complicated. I'm having a hard time narrating while I'm doing it. And also, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to have a gun, but my gun doesn't work. Um, so, it's kind of frustrating. Uh, yeah, in fact, I'm supposed to have several things that I don't have. So, hmm. But yeah, um, this one's less smooth, and I think it's because there's more stuff on the screen. I, I think it's doing more, uh... That's legitimate. I can respect that. Yeah, the other one was 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 was, le yeah, was less jerky. Oh, we actually found a game with music. I think I know what this is. Whoa! Name entry? Hold up. <gasps> what is this spy versus spy crap? Holy crap. Oh. So. Selection mode. Movement mode. It, am I, am I, am I playing a strategy game down below? Like. Oh, no, I've got, like, a bunch of different guys? And all the different guys could be controlled? Whoa. Okay, change keys. Change joystick. Kempston. Okay. Let's see if we can play this with a, with a joystick. See if it makes sense of this. We're, we're Cordrin. Um, so stairway mode, movement mode, and then I guess there's a combat mode. Uh, he's just sort of popping. He's just sort of popping. Uh, he's popping. Um, he's popping. Um, he's still popping. I got nothing. Okay, this game is impenetrable. Yes, I think maybe reading the manual would be worthwhile, but this looks kind of insufferable, even if I did. Um, 
I'm still putting it in the interesting games folder. Ah, no. Let's go read the manual. Let's go read the manual. What are we here for if not to read the manual? <sighs> okay, let's see. Um, go to Spectrum Computing. Look up Throne of Fire. Are they Windows? Is that what it is? I thought it was a... Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Um, I thought it was a plan view, I think. I thought it was a like a, t a top-down view, um, but, huh. Well, at any rate, it does seem that we have a whole bunch of, of rooms here with different different guys, and we can go to any of the guys. But yeah, let's go read let's go read the manual. That sounds really interesting. Uh, okay, instructions. Within the burning citadel, high above the desolate plains of Karakesh, the throne of fire stands empty. Uh three princes, sons of the late King Atheric, prepare to do battle against each other and seize the throne. Uh da -da 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 -da. Okay, so each prince has a band of loyal men-at-arms. Uh, in addition to those three main forces is a fourth impartial force, the King's Guard. Oh, okay, so that's what's going on. So basically, you pick one of three factions, and then you're trying to... It's a coup. It's a game about a coup. Um, right. Uh, okay, so in a one-player game, the human player controls characters by either a joystick or the keyboard. Chooses a prince. The computer plays the other two princes... Uh, okay, so I guess the second panel there, I don't know if it's one prince or if it pops between them. I don't know. Uh, anyway, um, all right, so this, the, oh, whoops. So we're in, we're in the many rooms of the Burning Citadel, the royal fortress of the Sorcerer Kings of Karakesh, which is built around the rim of a smoldering volcano. This is kind of badass. Their lore here is really, like, pretty good. Oh, lore. Um, so yeah, if you just walk left continuously, you'll eventually wrap all the way around. Uh, so that's cool, I guess. Um, anyway, uh, so the scrolling Citadel display shows the inner wall of the Citadel silhouetted black against the deep blue of the night sky. Oh, now I see it. God, I couldn't make it out. I had it backwards. <laughs> Oh. Uh, super chat? What's super chat? Is that, is that a thing? Oh. <laughs> wow. Um, this is a partner program thing, and I am not a YouTube partner. I think, anyway. Let me just confirm. Huh. I, I guess I don't know. I mean, I like money. Money's cool. Um, I just, I suspect I don't have access to this thing. Oh. Oh, I guess I can be a YouTube partner. I had no idea. Oh, I think I have to, um, I think I have to turn on ads for this. Well, whatever. Let me see. Let me see what it does. Oh, and apparently they have to manually review it. Eh, okay. Okay, all right. Well, I guess I'll get all that stuff soon. But yeah, um, yeah, exactly. I do have a... Uh, I do have a copy, and I will link it. There you go. Oh, shoot. That's not a link. There you go. Is that a link? There, that's a link. Um, in fact, let me go to the edit video tab. Tip jar. I'm going to assume that if I update this video description, that it does not populate on the page immediately. Anyway, but yeah. Um, all right. So, is Vorbis a good compression format? I don't know. Uh, anyway, so the windows of all occupied rooms in the Citadel are lit in different colors according to the allegiance of the occupant. So that's a map of who controls what. Uh, and then if there's a window that's flickering between two colors, um, uh, it means that there's two different opposing forces in that room. So maybe they're fighting. 
Uh, green is the King's Guard, and then the other three colors are the uh, different factions. Um, so then there's un the unoccupied rooms are unlit, so you can't see them. Um, you have to explore to discover the structure of the place. You can only see occupied rooms, nothing else. Oh, okay, so I guess... Oh, okay, I think you can take the doors at the back to go up and down. Ah, uh, okay. So when you start the game, you've got ten guys under your control. The prince himself and then nine men-at-arms. Um, and, oh, and, wow, over the course of the game, you get reinforcements. Wow. And, yeah, you just you flip between... You flip between a 30%. God, that sucks. I mean, I'm not... Look... The difference between the button that's in front of you that just lets you go, you know, give this person money, and the one you have to go pursue is the difference between getting the money and not. And I'm not going to turn down money. I just spent $825 on a camera for one video. So um, I could use the income. <laughs> just, like, I'm not getting rich here already, all right? Um, so uh, a few more bucks uh, would not uh, would not upset me. Um I think you know where you are because it's at the center of the map, but you aren't. The map isn't really supposed to be a map as such. It's just supposed to show you like where where people specifically are. Um. Any so any any character you're not controlling is going to stay exactly where they are. You have to actually take control of them in order to move them. However, if somebody wanders in, they will def defend themselves. So I don't exactly understand. Basically, I don't understand what happened in the last um, playthrough here because uh, I did go into a room. I did get into a combat. And I don't know. Hey, hundred. Hello. Welcome. And I don't exactly know why my guy just sort of. All right. Anyway, so there's also gate rooms, um, which are oh, they're how you get in and out, and you can't leave through them. But that's where um, re reinforcements come in. Okay. Um, and you're supposed to get to the throne room. On gaining the throne, that prince becomes king. Hmm. Okay, so basically the goal here is to get all your men into the throne room. Okay. All right. That's fair. Also, the beating heart at the top left, the faster it goes, the stronger that character is, and the faster his movements and reactions will be. This game is complicated! Okay, so that's your health, basically, and your health is tied to your actions. Um, and you can regenerate health by resting. And apparently you can find magical items that will boost your health. Uh, or if you go to the throne room or gate room, you'll, uh, you'll regain health. Okay, here we go, the controls. I know we've been reading a manual for a while here, but, like, what, what, this is a ZX Spectrum stream. All right, leave now if that's going to be a problem for you. Um, anyway, so uh, if you're using the joystick, um, during selection mode, you press fire to select a character. How do you... Okay, left, right, up. So up on the joystick goes to a stairway door, or it picks up a weapon if you're standing over one. Um down goes to selection mode. There we go. And then fire switches to combat mode. Okay. And then... Oh. <laughs> Folks, I need you to listen <laughs> to this following, the combat mode here. This is great. Unlike other combat games, immediately telling you that the person who made this was incredibly stuck up about the state of video games... <laughs> A joystick's position does not cause a particular action, but is the route from one joystick position to another, which triggers a variety of thrusts and parries. Players will discover combat movements through experience. Buddy, that's that's ambitious. <laughs> anyway, apparently once you're in combat mode, if you hit uh, if you hit a button, it switches to weapons or it cycles back to movement mode, um, which you can actually use to retreat. Okay. All right. I'm going to grab another beer, <laughs> and then we're going to go try and fight. Uh, this game is called uh, Throne of Fire, and this is pretty cool. Definitely trial and error.
Nadia, that is an incredibly smoking question you just asked. Let's get an answer to that because that is a fantastic question. I'm going to say it's after, but I'm not sure. Well, 87. If you ask me, if you at gun to my head, I don't know what year Prince of Persia was. Uh, let's see, original trilogy, uh, where is it? Um, 89. So this predates. Wow. That's fantastic. Anyway, we are popping bottles. This is a Deschutes Jubilee. Alright. Alright. Let's play some video games. Alright, is this the game or is this a demo? I'm not sure. Um... I think this is a demo mode. I don't seem to be able to do anything. Not sure what's going on here. I'm gonna go ahead and restart it. Change keys, joystick, Kempston, one player. Okay, we're red left side here and that's that's the prince so let's go down to get the selection mode okay and then here's this guy let's go ahead head to the right here okay so I guess we can't okay well, let's go up that should take us up to a room that has the opposing side in it okay Oh, that guy just bailed. Huh, cute. Alright, so let's go up here. Oh, that's right! I do. Ha I have a cocktail and a can upstairs. I should totally have that. Um, Alright, if we head to the right here, we should be able to get back in combat. There we go. Alright, so... Oh, ah, he bailed again. Let's go fight the King's Guard. Come on. So, it's a pretty fluid motion. Up and down is definitely causing me to... Uh, uh, sort of swing the, the sword by pixels up and down. I wonder if I've been winning these fights. I don't know what to think. So there's an item down there, but if I pick it up, my guy's just going to try and go through that door. Yeah. Whoa! Did you see that blood effect? Did you see that... Whoa! That was supremely cool. That was turbo good. All right, let's go and get a different guy because I'm having a really hard time getting to... Oh, whoops. Okay, combat mode. Okay, come on. Oh, oh, that guy died. I, I just I just lost. Um, in fact... Oh, okay, all right. I thought maybe I'd lost all my guys, but no. All right, let's head to the right here. And get in a fight. Okay. So do we... Nine men at arms. So did I win? I can't tell. I can't... I think I'm winning. I think I'm winning these fights. Okay. Uh, whoops. Oh, it's like the same room. Okay. You go... You kind of go up to go down. Man, this is great. Oh, no, I died. I was doing really well. Okay, this is my prince, so I don't want to use him. The controls are, are, are tough to learn, but um, they do make sense. Let's, um, let's do this thing. Uh... Well, I would think they were retreating, but if you look, you don't see them appear in the room next to you. So, I don't think so. Okay, I just increased the machine speed so we can uh, play this a little bit quicker. Um... Oh, nope. Oh. Ah! There you go. Okay, you can turn around in the, on the stairs. Boy, this castle layout's complicated. Is that a bong? Is there just a bong here? 
Supposedly I could pick things up, but like I can't. That's definitely an item, and I can't pick it up. Irritating. Pick it up. Uh. All right, whatever. <sighs> yeah, I think in concept this game is is super cool. I'm yes, I'm positive I just beat that guy. Okay, we can't go down from here, so we'll have to go down from there. I think I'm actually doing pretty well. It's hard to say. Oh. I'm going to go ahead and say that I think that their combat system was more ambitious than it actually, like, than it actually has rights to be. Like, I don't think it's actually necessarily good. Oh, no, 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 no. Come back down. Wait a minute. Why is that showing yellow? Is there somebody here? No. That's strange. Alright, let's get down. Uh, okay, I died finally. So how are we doing so far? So I've got these guys here. I'm going to say this game is so abstract that I'm not... Yeah, exactly. Like, this this needed analog controls. As an Apple II game, this would have been excellent. And I actually, I wonder if this... Let me check real quick if this came out for the two. It's possible. Well, it's not in my ROM collection. <clears throat> Hello, Will. Thanks for joining. Ah. Uh, wow. Um, yeah, so I'm done with that game, but that is very cool. Um, very, very ambitious, um, which I'm always, like I said, I'm always... Uh, I'm always here for a game that's ambitious, even if it can't pull, you know, pull it off. C64, huh? Huh. Huh. You know what? Uh, I don't want to get us into too much of a rut here, but let's pop over to the 64, because I know, I know it would be able to run this game quicker and with a little more color, and I just wonder, I just wonder if that might be a little bit better. Um, let me figure out. Now, of course, in my opinion, the state of C64... Emulation is atrocious, but I feel that way about most, like, home computer emulation. Oh, <clears throat> that's right. I was going to say something earlier, and I forgot to say it, and I'm sorry. Very, um, I try to be more, uh, more, um, diplomatic than this. I hate the Amiga. <laughs> um, it's actually my opinion that the Amiga is is a conceptually interesting machine, which in practice did not get any exclusives that are good. Um, mostly it really feels like what you'd expect from the Amiga, the thing that it continued to be for a very long time after it's the, the peak of its uh, uh, success, which is just a place for people to, uh, like, you know, Europeans with a lot of time on their hands to show off how good they are at programming. But people who aren't actually playing other games and learning, like, what everybody else is... Uh, is is figuring out about how to make games well, and so like all the Amiga games, they look beautiful, and you try to play them, and it's just like you you know you press up, and your character just goes like, and you're it's just the other thing is that all the games on it came out for the Atari ST at a minimum, so you could just play them on the ST, uh, which is an easier machine to get, <laughs> um, but uh, also they most of the ones that are worth playing came out just came out on the Genesis or the SNES. So there aren't a whole lot of exclusives on there and it it's bizarre. Like it suffers from it suffers from a lot of the same problems as all the eight bit machines, despite being a much faster machine with lots more RAM and storage. So you're kinda of looking at going, wait a minute, why aren't these better? <laughs> Sorry, that is my take on it. Never, never been able to like. I tried, but I just cannot love the. Uh, I cannot love the uh, uh, the Amiga. 
You know, if if Throne of Fire came out for the uh, 64, I can't find a copy. That's fair, and like the thing is, I haven't played every game for him, uh, for it. So, you know, I don't know. Um, Maybe there's stuff on there that's that's better. Uh, <clears throat> Nadia, that that is one that that there is a truth to that, right? You know, if you're focusing on like console style platformers, then yeah, it's kind of unsurprising that you're not going to find them on there. At the same time, I I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, um, give me give me a second. Sorry about this lull here. I'm just trying to. Ah, okay. So I looked this up, and uh, the Throne of Fire Commodore 64 port never got released. There was supposed to be one, but... Alright, so I can close my 64 emulator. Goodbye. Close this, close that, and then we can get back to the real work. There's a title here called Through the Trapdoor, which I'm going to guess... Oh. I was going to guess that this was a, uh, this was a, um, uh, come on, um, an adventure game of some kind. But, uh, the fact that it's joystick support, eh, probably not. <sighs> well, Renmimon, um, I have touched the Amiga before and I will touch it again, so I will give it the benefit of the doubt. All right. Whoa! What the hell is going on? Help is right. What on earth? Okay, I think I'm finally in control. Um, it's hard to say, like... Am, am I am I in control of this character? What what is going on here? No, I don't think I am. Am, am I the blue guy? I am the blue guy. Oh wait, I can take him, folks. This is revolutionary. Oh no! What on earth is going on? This is immense. This is so cool. This is a fever dream. I do not know what is going on, but like... Yeah, buddy. Have some worms. Definitely. I do? Okay. Alright. How do I go up? I've got a frog. Does that help me? Boop, 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 boop. Whoa, if I press C, it changes the color at the bottom. Is this, um... Is this, uh... Uh, uh, uh... Oh, shoot. What's the name of it? What's the... What's the... What's the, um... What's the, um... Oh, God, uh, the shmup, where you gotta change colors all the time? This is associated with a TV show? That's what's going on? Um, anyway, the game might make more sense, but, like, I need the instructions, so... What did I load up here? Through the trapdoor. Ikaruga, yes. The fact, like, I'm just looking at this and going, like, well, if I can change the colors at the bottom, this has got to be an Ikaruga. I think that might be some sort of health bar? Ah. This is cool. Let me find the, I'm getting the documentation here. All right. Burke is back. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Oh. You think? Uh, 
All right, well. All right, so. Playing Burke and his minuscule sidekick, Drut. We must go forth on a rescue mission. Uh, so, defaults uh, keys are ZX, QA, for left, right, up, down. Fire is C. Why? But there's no firing occurring. Huh. What if I, if I pick this guy up and then change modes? Do I get anything? No, it just sort of... Huh. Okay, so it's, it says that in this mode I'm playing Drut. But like... Oh, I guess I am. Okay, alright. Huh. It's it's hard to tell that I'm playing Drut. The like the inputs are so lagged. Oh, okay, but if I just hold down jump, boy go up. Oh, boy go up. Okay, so is that going to help me get out of this pit because Boy, this is really something. So, I guess the question I have at this point is I'm trying to decide whether I think that I've, like, mired myself down here. I kind of suspect that I can't escape now that I'm here. Oh, but you know what? Oh! Oh! Boy ate a candy! Can I do that with my frog? Can I eat, can I eat the frog? No. Nah. Um. Oh, wait! He can jump too! Oh, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Why is he going to the right like that? Hey, stop going to the right. There we go. Jump, jump, jump. Boy, go up. Boy, go up. Boy, go up. Oh, I'm hitting that platform. That's what's going on. Okay, here we go. Boy, go up. 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 Whoa. Okay, 45s only. All right, that's fine. Let's do it. Up. Oh no! He hit his head. Uh, let's go. Let's go over here. Boy, go up! 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 Oh. Okay. So I think we're gonna have to like we're gonna have to bank shot this. So let's go ahead and let's go let's go here. All right? Boy, boy, go up! Boy, go up! Boy, go up! Boy, go up! And it didn't work either. Ah! Up, 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 up. No, that's too high. All right, let's try on the, like the fifth jump here, right? So, boing, 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 boing. No, that didn't do it either. Damn it! Ah, how do I get out of here? Boing, 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 boing. Nope, that doesn't work either. Okay, let's restart now that we know the controls a little better. And, uh, ah, press C for Burke Drut. All right. Okay, so we start here above the platform, above the trap door, and then we are definitely supposed to go through the trap door, so away we go. The animations to this are completely adorable, by the way, I should point out. I feel like I'm going to get owned if I go under those. Oh! The animations in this, like, have this strong, like, Prince of Persia suddenness to them. You know what I mean? Like the death and the, the falling down. It feels like uh, uh, out of this world, you know? So I seem to have no, no defense mechanisms whatsoever. I wonder if I can use... Yeah, I was thinking that. I wonder if I can use Drut to, uh... Oh, so Drut can actually be on a completely different screen. That makes sense, I guess. Hmm. Oh! Whoa! Boy, go up! Oh, no! Ah! He's not hurting me. 
So... Ah! Uh, this is apparently the soundtrack to a game called Rockman, which does not appear to be as good as the, uh, the, the Capcom title. Wow! This bat, or whatever he is, he's really annoying. Okay, so like... Here, eat a worm. Eat it. Can I trigger these spiders like yay? No? Man, boy can really go up. I feel like there's mechanisms to the physics in this game that I cannot figure out. Now, another possibility, of course, is that I'm supposed to go to the right with one or both of them. And that I will find something that will make me uh, able to progress. I don't know. Let's go this way. Well. Well, I do get the candy down here. Chomp. Alright, well, I think that's it for this game. Fascinating game. Very, very hard to play. Um, oh, this is from 82. I think this is going to be kind of rough. Uh, that was actually, that was not the Cookie Monster, but it was, uh, like, that was some sort of, um, that was some sort of uh, 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 legally distinct Cookie Monster called, I think, Bert. Oh my god, this is a sample game. P.O. Oh, oh no. Hope you enjoy ZX Spectrum Basic Demo Breakout, because we're about to pay, play that for a couple hours. This is actually better than, than some low-rent breakouts that I've played. Like, this one's fairly solid, all, all things considered. Alright, anyway. Um, this has got to be an adventure game. I won't accept any other explanation. Wow. Okay, so there's actually music in this game. So, three, four, and five. Okay. Well, I'm probably going to turn the music off. Boy, that is one of the most distinct forms of art, uh, color artifacting that I've seen. That guy's going to kill me. Uh, I wonder if he will. He probably will. But let's see. Oh, you know what? I just realized I still have the machine speed set to 150. Did I say I didn't like this? Whoa. Okay, definitely gonna need the manual for this one. This is three weeks in paradise. Apparently, this is part of the Wally -E Week series, which contains the games Automania, Pajama Rama, Everyone's a Wally, -E, Herbert's Dummy Run, and Three Weeks in Paradise. Uh, that sure looks like a map to me. I see a boat. Could we be on a boat? Instructions. 
No, you, Ken, you need a map. You need a manual for all ZX Spectrum games. They're good if you read the damn manual. All right. Okay, so, um... Wally is all alone in the jungle looking for his loved ones, Wilma and Herbert. I don't know if Herbert is his son or something, but I like to imagine that it's just his boyfriend. He's in a poly relationship. You know, it's straightforward. All right. Um... Wait, really? Wow. Okay, so if I'm understanding this... I think I have to use the keyboard even if my primary controls are on the joystick. So, one and two, pick up and set down objects, one and two. Uh, and then... Whoa. It, okay. This is what it says in the manual. Keys A to enter. Go into screen, swim, shoot, climb, use object. I think they're saying that just all those buttons. Uh, huh. Oh, and you know what? There, if you press button three, Wally stops having color, apparently. And the reason for that is to uh, actually make uh, the uh, screens look better. <laughs> all right, so there we go. We have a corkscrew, which I'm sure we can use on this bucket here. Um, okay, so nothing on my home row here does anything. So I guess it's not as simple as all that. Okay, can we get past... Okay, we have... This looks like a fire we could light if we had the appropriate stuff for it. This guy moves so slow. We got a snail. I wonder if it's going to kill me. Uh, we have a locked box. Which I need an item for. Let's see if the snail kills me. Nope. Wait. Whoa! What am I doing here? Got to be a shark. Oh man, I don't know about this one. This game might not be good. Whoa, oh, oh, boy, go down. Ugh, I couldn't quite make that out. Okay, I don't think this game is good. <laughs> That's my take. Um, I'm just, uh, just flipping through titles here. Oof, this looks rough. Yeah, exactly. That did seem like worse, slower, dizzy. I agree. Is this mouse racing? God, this is absolutely like just your basic, your basic, basic program. What? Do, do, are we, oh, we're mousing. I think. I don't, okay, I thought maybe I had control. But no, I don't. So this is a mouse race that's like an implementation of like a pathfinding thing. Uh -huh. That was weird. Next game. <laughs> Here's Thor. <laughs> there he is. All right, what do we got here? Sports Kempston, Gate. Uh, what do we do? Comenza. <laughs> wow. Huh. I'm not sure what's going on. The joystick input's just freaking out. I must have picked the wrong input mode. 
Yeah, that Smoke on the Water remix was extremely sick. Uh, so Kempston again. Okay. <gasps> wow, he's just doing it again. Yeah, there's definitely something wrong with the uh, joystick input routines. Let's try it again, but let's do cursor. Um, commence hour. God, home computer music is really something. Okay, I've got a limited number of those. Um, let's find my controls here. Oh, it uses he uses cursors. Wow. Okay, and then wasting all my lightning bolts. Where are my... Where's my attack key? There it is. Backspace for some reason. Okay. All right. Okay, that don't work. There we go. I broke that egg. Okay. Oh my god. This game is uh, inscrutable. It's just, it's such a British thing to have a game like this, where just everything is happening at once. You know, you're supposed to react to all of it simultaneously. I'm going to go ahead and say this is not a good game. Next title. There's a Thomas the Tank Engine game here from, uh, from 1981. Sorry, I meant 91. I guess you're right. Um, the previous game I assumed was Spanish just because that's where the tape was ripped, but I just looked at the name and, yeah, it looks like it probably was a Spanish company. All right. Um, select a track. Whoa, this is dope. Take the oil to the refinery. Thank you. I love pop. Okay, so what do we got here? Um, 800, is that some points? It was some points. Hey, you know what? This actually looks pretty fun. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to prejudge it too positively, but um, there's a lot of games you play on the Spectrum and, and other machines of this era where you just kind of go like, oh man, if I was a kid and I had this, I would would have been bummed. I would not have had a good time. Um, but, uh, there we go. Oh, no. Oh, okay. There was a, there was a, like a runaway train car there, but I, I guess we're okay. Uh, anyway, this, this one, um, kind of seems like maybe you'd, you'd have some fun with it, you know? I, I finished that task. I did it. Well, shoot. Okay. We got our music back here. This music is not in the game we're playing, by the way. Is this the same level? Probably not. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I think that's our car. Wow, I'm just like continuously gaining points as long as I ah as long as I have this car attached. I guess there's no time limit, so like 
the longer I take to deliver this, the more points I get? How's that? Oh, okay, I stopped, I stopped gaining points. I'm assuming this is a game for children. Um, I'm also going to say that for 1991, oh boy, um, kind of uh, kind of rough for 1991, but oh really? I guess yeah, maybe that is a time limit. I I said I said rough for 91, like assuming that somebody in 91 would like almost implicitly know that the Nintendo existed and the Super Nintendo existed, and so... Uh, the fact there's just sometimes, like, super fast train cars that'll come rushing through on a collision course is, like, kind of BS. I feel like it's a... That, that one's kind of hard to defend. Oops. Oh, I'm having the thing with the, the score just go kind of continuously going up for a very long time again. Wah! Come on! That's uncalled for. Right? Hey, Tail Saber. Yeah, right me on. That makes a lot of sense. I hadn't thought about it that way. Um, yeah, the little kids would have the hand-me-down machines. Okay. Okay. Huh. Like, yeah, if you were if you were six, you weren't necessarily going to have an NES uh, in '91. But uh, I can imagine ending up with a with a Spectrum. Oh no, the NES had been out for several. Years. Anyway, right back. By the way, did I get the uh, did I get the music levels right again? I did okay last time. Oh, the uh, lights behind me. Um, yeah, those are my just my uh, hot lights for my channel, um, uh, for my no normal channel videos. Uh, they're uh, like LED cob fixtures. I don't know, 40 watt, 40 watt LEDs or something like that. I've been I've been setting up for my next video. That's all the the gear for my next main channel video, uh, and uh, I've been setting up for that for like four days and just like intermittently going back because it's it's an incredible. Oh, it's an incredible amount of work um, 
the uh, uh, the the stuff that I'm I'm setting up to demo is just really involved, and so I just keep going back and forth between like prepping this stuff, experimenting with it, like. I'll be reading the manual for this video switcher and like, I'll go, ah, sh that's right, I keep meaning to try that thing and I'll have to go back and set the whole thing back up again. So I finally just set up the entire, the whole system. Yeah, I've got, um, I've got my dual, got my PVMs up here for my program, my preview feed, I got my video switcher, I got my control console, I've got cameras in here, um, I've got a bunch of Raspberry Pis down here that are outputting continuous video signals um, for various mixer inputs. Um, it's just been, it's been, I've got, um, in, one of my video inputs is this guy, so this is just in the middle of the room, and, uh, taking up space, because I don't want to get it all broken down and put away, uh, and, uh, it just, it, it goes on, it goes on and goes on, Ugh. anyway, I went upstairs, and I got this, uh, Cutwater Bally High, uh, Tiki Rum Mai Tai. And I gotta say, um, here's my review of this. It's 12.5%, and I am 32 years old. Ugh. It tastes good. Oh boy. You know, as you get older, it's just harder to drink the way you did. I had like um, three of these the other night, and uh, boy, <laughs> that just about put me in outer space. Only got one left, though, so I should be okay. All right, I did put the Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends game into the Interesting Games folder because I feel that it is an interesting game. What do we got here? Yeah, uh, it's for, yeah. Uh, much like Nadia said, I grew up pretty poor. Um, didn't really have much. Um, my parents, my dad was working for a really big telecommunications company, uh, which then imploded when I was a few years old, violently and publicly, internationally, in fact. And um, so when I was, you know, five or six or whatever, you know, up till like when I was like 13 or something, um, we had a bunch of stuff left over from what my parents were doing well in 1990. And uh, not so much after that. And so I was still playing NES games in 2001, like on the NES, because I never got a PlayStation or an N64 or an SNES or anything. I just had the NES and whatever cartridges we had left over from back when we had money. So that was interesting. Anyway. I just loaded up this game here just called The Thinker. And uh, if you've got a game like that, that's about to be some Menza nonsense. And it already has that feeling. Um, so, what do we got here? We just got, we got, we got a Soka ban? Oh, boy. Oh, ah, ah, beans. Gosh, this is slow. Lordy. Whoa. Boy, this is a bad game. Hey, Comp Geek. All right, let's look the next game, also called The Thinker. Whoa! Hold up. Can we see that? Everyone, I need you to get over here and take a look at this screen. Uh, let's watch that intro again, because I don't think they heard it all the way out in Bushnell. Yeah! Let's see it again. That's so good! Every game should open like this. Alright. Uh, Kempston. 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 There we go. I didn't have the window focused. That's my fault. Oh, that transition's so good! Whoa, 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 whoa. Holy crap, what are we doing? Whoa! So it's an isometric game, which is always very cursed. Um, whoa. What? Okay, there we go. Okay.
Huh. Oh. I think I know what's going on. Oh, there we go. Okay, so they're elevators, and by uh, pressing and holding fire and then moving up and down, I can control them. But anyway, now when I get out here, yep, I'm going to start getting numbers on the sides of my block. So I'm not going to play this game anymore. <laughs> Boy, I don't have time for that. Oh. oh one moment. Sneeze. Oh, pardon, folks. Give me just a moment. Oh, boy. Wait, Chris and Fungus? Okay, alright. Um, this game looks like a lot. Let me, am I running the process too fast? Nope, I'm not. Okay. You know, this interface has, like, strong the incredible machine energy, you know? Okay, options are, one, keyboard. Two, Kempston. Th isn't this a piece of pop music or classical music that I'm forgetting? I'm sure it's pop music, right? Boy, this game looks ambitious. It doesn't look good. Oh, I guess there was a C64 version. Okay. Alright, so we're starting the game. Wow. Whoa! Ah! Okay, so I'm controlling this little spring guy. Man, this is chaos. This looks cool, though. Don't get me wrong, it looks cool. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it's a thing I've discovered with the ZX Spectrum games to not be able to jump unless you do it at an angle. So that's interesting. Uh, this one has that going on. This this is really ambitious. By the way, okay, so I should I should... Oh, no! Oh no! Okay, so he, when you pop out of the pipe, you need to be holding a uh, a, a direction, otherwise you'll just pop right back in. Uh, and I, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and do that this time. Um, and now when we get to the other side, I'm gonna I'm holding left, and I think that'll allow me to pop out and, and fly. There we go. Okay, so oh, so we go here and then jump that way. There we go. We got some sort of item. I don't. I'm gonna have to look up the goal for this game. But yeah, um, I was going to say, a thing that I find uh, really entertaining about this is that I have looked up, like, YouTube videos that are, you know, uh, top 15 greatest games for the Spectrum. They're often ports, you know, and, and I'm just kind of like, look, don't tell me something is for a given platform if it's a port, all right? Ports don't count unless they're, like phenomenally good ports like unless they've got unless they're the definitive version of that title then um you know i i really don't care about them so um oh you know what i just discovered this guy's a spring right if i hold down he charges up and can presumably do a a, a, a hop there's also like the little screen down there when i press fire it's doing like the jazz jackrabbit weapon switch and trying to get out of the weapon. Anyway, I seem to be stuck here. Can I... How do I get out of here? Okay, pressing Q, I think... I think bailed me out. Man, this game is so chaotic. Um, okay, so if we stand here, charge up... Yeah, okay. Anyway. Uh, yeah, the only stuff I'm interested in, really, generally speaking, is exclusives or... You know, if you've got a version of a game that's really something special, um, particular platform, and uh, yeah, I think I think I was soft locked, um, and I just I feel like the the people who end up making videos like the one I just mentioned, the sort of like uh, best you know best ZX Spectrum games, often are like really not being very fair to the Spectrum and kind of showing off a bunch of games that are available on other platforms and whatnot. I want to see the weird stuff. 
I always want to see the in every category. Show me the weird stuff. Show me the stuff that like didn't succeed but was really ambitious. That's my jam. That's what I'm all about. I love that stuff. Um, you know, it it is an established thing that the the ZX Spectrum was home to a whole bunch of you know, ambitious and bright programmers who made a bunch of really weird stuff because they were just kind of doing whatever with this compute, this very inex importantly, very inexpensive computer that they were able to get. So, uh, this sort of thing, you know, I'm clearly this came out for the platforms. This came out for the C64. Um, but even so, I mean, I don't even see this. I don't even see this game show up in in videos like that. It's always it feels like it always is just you know Jet Set Willy and Manic Miner. <clears throat> oh no! Wait, those kind of seem like Mario question blocks a little bit. Ah, can't stop rolling. No, where? It is total chaos. Like I said, I don't think it's necessarily a good game. I don't know what I'm doing. I I mean I could. Whoa! That's cool. I'm putting that in the interesting folder. By the way, that was thing two. Thing bounces back. First thing one, I guess. There's a, so that was from '87, and that was a Gremlin game, which scans. That makes sense. Um, wow, this one here is Things from 1991, um, and I think this is an adventure game. So I am not interested in it. Uh, let's move on here. By the way, the uh, ROM collection I'm using contains a significant number of like. 2000s and 2010s games, uh, and I'm not playing any of them. The Guild. Oh, really? Thing on a spring. Do I have that? <clears throat> well, I don't seem to have Thing on a Spring. Was that for this platform? Wait a minute. Hey, Juan. Sorry, I missed the intro for this. Whoa! Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. Alright, that's a text adventure. Moving on. That's a text adventure. Moving on. That's a text adventure. Moving on. Oh my god. Wait. Oh. Whoa. When is this from? What? What on earth is going on? I was thinking areola soft as well. You know, like the nipple. Okay, let me refresh this because I know what happened here, which is I just gave it the uh I just gave it the uh, uh program cassette um when it was expecting a save file. Anyway, this is from 86 and this seems really ambitious for 86. So, new game buy plans so it's a heist game this is so ambitious hang on i gotta put this in my uh, interesting games folder because wow there's so much going on here i gotta do a video about these i gotta get the most interesting stuff out of the interesting games folder do a video about it so it's five grand that'll leave me 50 grand okay uh, value of swag. Coins to the value of 27,000. 
Use notes, 10 grand, six grand, okay. Wow, wow, look at how many windows we have stacked up here, right? This is, this is remarkable. Uh, let's get some more info on the coins. Most of the coins are on display in glass display cabinets. Clearing out all the coins is likely to net you $27,000. Pounds, I should say. Okay, so this is so ambitious. Also, um, the thing that I like about this, uh, about how they're doing this windowing system here, um, swag used to be, swag used to be a term for, like, goods. You know, like, loot. Um, I like that they have this windowing system here, and I like uh, that the because it's using you know the painter's algorithm to draw the stuff on the screen every time you open a window it's able to layer it on top but every time uh that you close one it has to redraw the entire screen because it lost the data that was behind it i love that all right let's hire some guys uh let's hire let's hire bill wire smith yeah i think uh 25 grand he takes 10%. We'll take him. And then we're going to need a good thief. Safe cracker, explosive. Hmm. This guy's a safe cracker as well. Okay. Well, can we just go with one guy and see how it goes? If we get a fence. Oh, this guy sells art. Okay. Iceman, Art, El Dorado, Eddie. That sounds right. Gold, right? Golden gems. Okay, I'll hire him. Okay, and then, uh, or actually, I'll change to. Uh, oh, coins. There we go. Damn it. Okay, there we go. All right, so we'll do a Kempston joystick. Plan the raid. Okay. Start game cassette. Well, that should be this one. Okay. This is incredibly ambitious. By the way, uh, the name of this game is They Stole a Million, which is fantastic. By the way, we're in the part of the folder where the games have incredible names, it appears, because this one is called They Stole a Million, and the one right above it is called They Say the World Will Die in Fire and Ice. So I don't know what's going on with the ZX Spectrum right now. <laughs>
Okay, let's hire uh, Charlie Volts. Okay, exit, get a fence. Small change, Sue. Okay, joystick, Kempston. Oh, we need a driver. Really? Shoot. Explosives, lookout. So, was Bill Wires able to do it? Yes, that's the problem, is that uh, I didn't have a driver, or I only had a driver before. No, no, I, I don't, I don't think you actually have to uh, record all your movements ahead of time. I get what you're saying, but it does have joystick control, which was not working. I basically, I, I strongly suspect that that was just, I think I just messed up. I think I just didn't bring enough people. So give me a sec. Um, so I have 10 grand, uh, let me fire this guy, and then take this guy, okay, right, okay, oh, Oh, I see what's going on. I'm on the outside of the building. So I open the door. So is this after hours? There we go. Smash case. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and start this and see what it does. Yep, sure enough. It's out. He finds a locked door. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is a programming game. This is one of those robot programming games. Pick lock. Well, did he do it? Oh, I see. Okay. There we go. Okay, the alarm is going off. This is incredibly ambitious. I don't want to play any more of it. Yeah, exactly, right? Like it's too slow, it's too it's too slow, it's too complicated, but wow, that was cool. That was so cool. Um All right. They call me Trooper. Yeah, I mean, I would bet that there's other games like that. All right. What do we got here? Oh, so this was misdumped. That's a bummer. Um, whoa. Yeah, this is a misdump. Let me, oh, I have another copy here. Let's try this one. Kempston. Oh, shoot. Whoops. Hit two-player mode. Kempston again. One-player game. Nope, it's still huck. Still hosed. Okay, well, next thing. Uh, what do we got here? Adventure game. What do we got here? Yeah.
Oh, sorry. We should move on. All right. Oh, boy. What do we got here? Oh, that noise. Uh, whoa. Okay, there's a very weird problem going on, which is that the joystick controls are vertically inverted. I do not know how that happened. Ah, oh, that is unsettling. I hate that. So, what do we got here? Are we, is this, do we explore, or is this just a killing th thing simulator? Let's see if we can go down. Yes, we can. Wow. This is grimdark. I'm loving it. We got, like, some gothic nonsense. So, a little bit of a, a little bit of a Zelda, uh, going on here. Uh, let's check the dates. 88. Zelda was out. Does that, does that say Rip and Grip? I'm sorry, hold up. Does that say Rip and Grip? It does, right? Post in this. It does look like it says mom them. I'm I'm just saying it, you know, I'm just picturing like Griffin McElroy just like grip it and rip it, son. At rest, you. Man, what's the energy of this game? The fact that you have to just like walk through monster spawns in order to progress is is uh, you know, it's a strong decision. Let me just say that. Can I touch that? Nope. Okay. Okay, I guess that's not an item. It really looks like it should be. I like the fact that your uh, bullets go off in different directions. That is a remarkable decision for this era. Why are we used graphics here? Oh, no. Are we going to restart at the beginning or... Nope, right here. That tree has, like, a strong Simpsons kind of energy, like, Klasky Supo kind of energy to, to it. Man, this feels like proc gen, you know? Like, it does not feel like these are levels that are designed by humans. Um, on the other hand, uh, you know, it also sort of... I, I, I would love to see... Well... There were no there were no people in the US or Britain who had found out that RPGs existed at this point. That's not true, but it's true enough. Um, but the weird stuff that was going on in Japan with regards to RPGs and and similar titles, um, as far as uh, you know, things like um, uh, Dragon the Dragon Slayer series, for instance, um, just these sort of enormous enormous. Uh, Enormous dungeons made up of, like, one color of sprite. I'm, I'm really picturing, I'm really strongly, oh, I picked up a bat. I'm really strongly, uh, strongly uh, imagining, uh, like, Dragon Slayer 2 right now uh, when I play this game. And uh, it would have been interesting to see, like, the one British guy who had played a Dragon Slayer game on a trip to Japan. That, that would be fascinating. Would like to see the game that that guy would produce because this this is not that but it could be it's a dungeon crawler uh but it has more of like a gauntlet energy to it and it, it really does seem to be a dead end i mean it, like all the rooms feel just kind of pointless imagine if this imagine if the person who made this game or people they're probably like what two people probably who made this game imagine if the uh the people who made this game had like, whoa, what is that? What? What? Whoa! What? I thought I was just going to be there forever. Anyway, imagine if the people who made this game had like, accident accidentally realized ahead of time, um, before anybody else, 
uh, what was about to, you know, what was going to happen with like Metroid and, uh, you know, other exploration based games, which by the way, were out at, at this point. You know, if, if you were, regardless of what, you know, where you lived in 1988, yeah, this was 88, same year I was born. Um, in 88, uh, Metroid had been released in every country in the world. Well, every major continent in the world anyway. Um, and so you could have, you know, you could have played Metroid and been inspired by it to make something like this, except with like a little bit more purpose. And that would be cool. I would love to see that. Instead, this is kind of, mm, kind of pointless. You know, it's interesting that I, I, whoops, I think that's the end of the game. Yep. It's interesting that I managed to uh, switch levels at all. And I am going to put that in the interesting games folder. All right, next game, Their Finest Hour. Now this, I think, oh boy, I think, um, gosh, was it this a, I thought this came out for the PC. Oh, boy, that Mai Tai. How do we select this? I wish... Okay. I did something... Good flying weather, sir. Oh, okay. What? Oh, okay. So I've got joystick interface. Okay, we'll go there. We'll go there. We'll go there. Okay. So. Man, I can't quite make these things out. What? Oh. Okay. Oh, this is information. I get it. Rotate North Holt. No, I don't get it. I don't have any idea what's going on. Okay, that's our map. Now, is this just a strategy game? Is that what's going on? Maybe it is. Maybe this is just a strategy game. Maybe there is no truth. All right. Next title. Oh, this is a war game. Oh, no. Nope. That's the type of game I can't enjoy. All right, what do we got here? The Edge. There he is. That's the spirit. He's there. All right. What are we doing? Uh, oh, okay. Intriguing. Wow. We have fatigue. We have sanity. Um, take or drop, I see. Okay, so pressing up puts you in take mode. Down puts you in drop mode. So this is that. That does appear to be the Twin Towers. Um, okay, we have a cassette tape. There we go. Is that an item? Yep, sure is. 
we can examine items. Uh, let's figure out how to do that. I would really love to examine these items. Um, do I use keyboard? Whoa. I press tab. Oh, it paused it. Okay, that's what's going on. Um, how do I unpause it? It'd be great if I could do that. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, all right, there's a whole bunch of controls. Okay, so buy, read, examine. Okay, so I'll examine whatever the heck it is I have. Uh, we also have hold. And of course, take and drop. M or N switches to items in your inventory. You're going to use as well. This seems ambitious. Um, let's uh, explore a little bit more. Oops. Let's explore a little bit more. And then I'll uh, stop and figure out how to operate any of this stuff. Actually, um, there was a use in there. Oh, it's a day-night cycle. All right, let me look this up. Uh, that's the spirit. ZX Spectrum. Yeah, I'm probably gonna I'm probably going to uh, max out the uh, fatigue before I figure anything out. Um, yeah, I mean, it was always a problem on everything on every computer that they they just had trouble. Um, uh, they they had they had trouble figuring out how to be reasonable at the controls. This was an eternal thing. No, I, I'm not cycling through verbs. Uh, sorry, I'm I'm pressing the keyboard keys. It's just that I'm not. I'm not keeping track of which ones I'm looking at very well. Uh, by the way, the description of the game in the help file, the year is 1996, and the government has gone too far. You know what? I, this is too much. I actually can't take this. Um, I was going to... I was going to care about the game, but now I just care about the help file. <laughs> the year is 1996, and the government has gone too far. Since the formation of the World Council, the people have had to put up with a lot, but it really was going too far to rename every city in the world. I mean, it may have been too bad if some bright spark hadn't noticed the fact that most cities were beginning to look the same, and like New York in particular. But to then decide to call every city New York? That was weird. The government explained in a 40-page booklet the advantages of this move, about how conversation would be simplified, as in, Hi, where are you going? New York. Well, that's great. So am I. Let's go together. Road signposting was greatly clarified, true, and rumor had it that both Birmingham and... I have not pronounced Birmingham correctly. I'm sorry. It's been a while. And London were now almost easy to negotiate in a car. And then there were philosophical connotations, too. For now, New York was just another way of saying everything or anywhere, which an appendix to the government's 40-page booklet described as a major step forward in world unity and peace. It also solved approximately 42 other problems that no one could remember anyway. Oh, this is so British. Oh, this is so British. Oh. The UK jumped out. Oh. This is this is uh this is getting worse and worse. The manual is just Oh, the manual is uh incomprehensible. This hurts. Uh anyway. Oh my god. So apparently when you bought the game, the instruction sheet on the back side had a keyboard overlay which you could cut out ruining the instructions and use excellent there are so many controls hold connect take drop throw hold load save sound swear sleep eat drink enter exit shoot continue buy read examine hold use oh god this is not the game i was looking for <laughs> Oh, man. Well, um, yeah, I guess you could just cuss as an action. I mean, D&D, &D, that's a free action, so it makes sense it would be here. Um, oh, I just switched games because this one's not good. I'm not interested in playing it. Um, Rise? Oh, this is a 2017 game. Whoops. Well, still, what do we have here? 
Oh, okay. I get you. I get you. Ugh. Oh, man. It's so... The reason I didn't want to... I, I said earlier that I didn't want to play any games that were made in the 2000s. And the reason for that is that they're too good. Um, and, well, that's not true. The reason for that is that they're too informed by modern video gaming knowledge. Like, we figured out how to make games better. That much is, is indisputable. But we also made them all the same. Very formulaic. And so... There we go. Uh, yes, it is true... That because of that, the input mechanisms for this game are so much better than anything else I've played tonight, let me tell you. Oh, already, this game is a thousand times more playable than anything else um, that, that I've uh, loaded on the ZX Spectrum. But, unfortunately, um, it has no flavor. You know, this now I might as well just be playing a Flash game in HTML5, you know, what the hell? Oh, there's little bombs on the ground. That's what's going on. This this is, you know, it's just an 8-bit, quote-unquote, 8-bit game I can get on Steam. And, hmm, I guess there's no way for me. Oh, okay. Huh. Those little things on the floor are bombs, and I don't know what sets them off. Something sets them off. Maybe it's pressing, maybe it's pressing the rise button around them that does it. Let's go experiment. Or, oh, I guess they just blow up periodically. Well, never mind. Yeah, never mind. I was just... I just had bad timing. This game is fine. This game is fine, but it's... It's a game made by somebody, you know, who could have just made it for a better... Pla an objectively better platform. But they wouldn't make it for that platform. You know what I mean? Not that I'm dunking on the person who made this or their motivations for making it. You know, they're fine. It's just that uh, there's not much value in it as far as exploring the platform, obviously. Of course the ZX Spectrum could do this. We knew that. You know, it's an 8-bit computer. It's 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 Turing complete. That's not the word I was looking for. Um, it's, uh, it's a Turing machine. There we go. Um, of course it can do this. Give me a second. I'll, I'll be right back. I think I gotta go deal with something. Oh. Sorry about that. I. Living with uh, living with other people, it's just like you hear noises through the walls sometimes, and you're just like, "What on earth is that?" <laughs> Everything's fine. Um, anyway, that was that sinking feeling. By the way, uh, perfectly perfectly valid game, just um, not what I'm looking for. Uh, this is Thanatos. What do we have here? That's the that's the problem, right? Yeah, it's it's too com. You know what, Nadia, you're right. I'm gonna go back and insult that previous game. Uh, I'm sorry, whoever made it, if you watch this. Uh, who cares that you made that game? Great. You made a technically a game. Can't prove that it isn't a game. Punches all the boxes. Uh, whatever. There's, try and strain against the limits of the console. Um, maybe it does. I don't know. Maybe it's very, very hard to make smooth animation on the ZX Spectrum. And the really remarkable thing is just that they produced anything at all. But I don't know. I think... If you're making something for the ZX Spectrum and you're not pushing hard against the limitations of the system, why even show up? What's the point? <sniffs> Holy crap. So, yeah, this situation. Uh, <laughs> there's a thing that happens with uh, with ROMs, for, I think home computers in particular. It used to happen more with game consoles. Uh, but then there was a huge crackdown on it because it was so offensive. Where people will crack it and then add their own, um, they'll add their own code at the beginning uh, to put in like a little advertisement like that for some godforsaken reason, and um, it's notorious for screwing up the game, and making it not work. Happened on the Apple II a lot. Virtually every, virtually every Apple II game has a crack throw. Um, it's actually a problem. <laughs> it's a serious problem. All right. Um, wow. 
Man, this whole um, this whole uh, sort of like don't copy that floppy intro, FBI warning, etc. Is a uh, uh, hmm. Huh. Alter skill. Oh, okay. Alter playing keys. Yes, Kempston joystick. Play. Whoa! It's him. Hello, folks. The boy. Whoa! Parallax is happening. Holy crap. Whoa! This is dope. Gotta turn the boy around. Come on, turn the boy around. There we go. Can we? Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Ah! Oh. Wow, are we are we are we flappy birding? Like what's what's going on here? I'm probably gonna have to read the manual. This guy is hauling ass, let me tell you. Wah Wah he was Oh he can walk He can walk too I didn't know that Oh I gotta get out of here Ah ah no come on come on come on get up get up get up get up boy up boy go up Boy, go up. Why Why won't you go up? Oh, my God. In order to get lifted off the ground, you have to flap your wings manually with the joystick. That's what's going on. I had to go up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down to get him to flap his wings. Yeah, this, this is really something. This is beautiful. Okay, let's go ahead and land. Clunk. I love this. This is great. Oh, I think I was wrong with the flappy wing thing. I I, I think it works. If, oh, wait. Enemies. Hello. Really? Come on. I toasted him. Oh, come on. There we go. Whoa! My dragon ate it. Whoa! Whoa! This is so good! Uh, well, I guess I better go ahead and set that one aside. Heck. Golly! Whew! Well, let's set the skill to level 8. And see how that changes the game. Oh, yeah. I don't know why I had to d dick with the joystick so much to get it to take off earlier. I think uh, maybe the game was just running at a really low frame rate or something. Oh, yeah. There we go. A lot more guys at skill level 8. I love like the little janky tune that plays whenever you murder someone. Do 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 do. Okay, can we come to a stop here? There we go. Yeah, this is uh. I'm not gonna comment too much, and uh, uh, but uh, uh, there were a remarkable number of games made in this era about being a huge monster destroying a city. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know what that meter is. That might be... You know what? That might be a fire breath meter because I don't seem to be able to breathe fire anymore. <laughs> Whoopsie. Can I just say that he's got a little bit of a scrotum hanging from his chin, all right? I don't want to say nothing, but... I do kind of feel like he has a little bit of a scrotum hanging from his chin. Um, so, Tetris got released for this console by a whole bunch of different people, for what it's worth. 
Um, so, yeah. Whoa, let's see that again. That looked great. This is a 1988 Tetris. And let's see that transition we just saw again. Oh, man, that looked really good. But, yeah, so that's that's Tetris, baby. And um, I don't know the controls. I don't seem to be able to control anything. But Oh, there we go. But it, it's Tetris, and nobody needs to know anything about Tetris um, other than the quality of the software. Next, Tetris. This one is from Mirrorsoft in 1987. Let's see what this one plays like. Yep, that's Tetris, baby. How good are you? Zero. Okay. Wow, that is a much better looking Tetris. Good lord. Uh, this one uses... Uh, whoops. That's not what I intended. Hang on a second. This one uses I, O, and P. The little... The shadows are really something. The fact they bothered to do that. This is, uh, this is a really good-looking ZX Spectrum game. Can we drop? Yep, we drop with, with uh, space. I'm actually not bad at Tetris, but uh, uh, I just uh, was sort of rushing. I felt the need to defend my Tetris skills after the several mistakes I just made. Ah, whatever. There we go. I just needed to clear a line. Welcome to Cathode Radio Live 24-bit. Get ready for hours of excitement. We play in Tetris today. Poorly, in fact. Anyway, that's Tetris by Mirrorsoft. And now let's look at Tetris by uh, Balia Savie. Wait, this is actually crediting Pagetov? Uh, no, that one did not have music. The music you're hearing right now is from the, uh, uh, you know. Okay, this is not a good Tetris. Alright, anyway. This is a 2003 application called Test Card Simulator, and I don't need to explain what that one does. Um, Test Master. I assume this is going to be education related. Yes, it is. Yeah, okay, anyway. Terry on the move. That points at the screen, that's Terry. Oh no, Bible chip. Oh, rough. Rough. Well, this is cool. Okay, my favorite part is, like, the probability... Do you need an explanation? <laughs> Get a screenshot of that. Wait, why is it called Test Master? Can someone explain, like, contextually, what about Cricket... What on earth? Oh, okay. So Q and A up, down, N and M, left and right. Okay. Oh, no. This sounds awful. Oh, okay. As regards the test situation. All right. That's rough. Wow. What on earth? My God. What? Hang on. Okay, sorry. Did I miss something just now? 
No. Care Fund, Tear Fund, whatever, is a Christian charity that partners with churches in more than 50 of the world's poorest countries. This would appear to be a qu software quiz about them. Oh, oh boy. Um, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, good lord. This is really funny um, that they would phrase this question this way. Yes, I would like to lead a constructive, a destructive life. Wow, apparently this is Twitch plays Terry on the move. Training local workers in healthcare is unnecessary. Optional. <laughs> oh, this is rough. I am afraid that you cannot have plane ticket. Oh my god. This is a lot. What is the use case for this? Where do I get a job? I need a job. Money. Give me the money. If I answer the test, do I get money? Physical and spiritual needs. Oh. You know what's terrifying is I think the age group this game is targeted at is grown ass adults. Oh, 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 Lord. No pun intended. Oh, man. How do I even answer this? I'm I'm a little drunk. I should probably bail soon because that, that Mai Tai hit me like a load of bricks. Um... Oh. I did it. Yeah. I was thinking it was two. Y yeah, like, it's definitely, like, it's a training PowerPoint sort of thing, for sure. But, like, I can only imagine this is, like, one of, like some sort of horrible cult initiation kind of thing. It's like, you know the whole thing, you know the whole thing in, in, in cult behavior where... The goal is to get you to say something that you know isn't true, so that you'll then be stuck with it. This has that energy of, like, getting, like, sitting you down and crossing your arms and waiting and watching while you answer all these obnoxious questions with, like, just to, to make you sub submit. Um... I can't have money because I need to raise some money. Well, the really upsetting thing is I'm actually going to put this into my interesting games folder because I really can't deny that it is. It is interesting. That's a text adventure. Terrors of Trantos. Whoa! Skarn. Lobo. Uh, ooh, this is going to be rough. I'm sure of it. Yes. Okay, this is interesting. So the music came up on the ZX Spectre video. It was actually kind of bopping. Uh... <coughs> I don't normally spend my time on text adventures, 
but this one just has like some stuff going on. Uh, it's not a button. I, I think it's just some sort of flavor text. You know, the weird thing here is like, hang on a second, can I go north? So I just came south, but I can't go north from here. This is a really remarkably dull way to open this. Didn't I just... Can I enter the tavern? Oh, I can. All right, anyway, so that's that, Terror Pods. Okay, that looks dope. Uh, wait. This just threw me straight into this game. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, so... Huh. There's a lot going on here. Um... Oh, there we go. Terrapog Leg 1 Factory. There we go. Cool. Okay, I'm sure I'm supposed to... So I'm obviously in, like, a ship. This is gaming. Let me look this up. Um, Terror Pods ZX Spectrum. Okay, sorry, let me pause this for a moment. Let me just read you the wiki page. Terror Pods is a 1987 shooting game with simple business simulation by Cygnosis. All of that scans. Um, <laughs> what? What? Okay, so... Yeah, this is actually... This is actually like a, um... Uh, oh shoot, um, what was that Microsoft, uh, what was that Microsoft space, uh, like outer space, uh, trading game from like 1999 or, or, or 2000 or something? Oh, this is gonna kill me. Yeah, I guess there is a phone over there, isn't there? Apparently it's got great reviews. Um, all right. Well, you know what? I'm, I'm starting to realize that I'm getting, uh, I'm getting a little, uh, out of it. So I'm going to go ahead and bail before I start just talking total nonsense. Uh, thank you so much for being here. This was a lot of fun. Uh, I spent <laughs> all day the last few days that I had free time working on my, uh, working on my, uh, uh, uh my next video project. I'm hoping to have it out early this coming week. Uh, and uh, I just really wanted to relax a little bit, and I figured a stream would be a good way to do it. I'm probably going to be doing ZX Spectrum games, ZX Spectrum, sorry, uh, uh, for the next couple streams here, but i got to get Tony back and finish that PC magazine. Uh, so maybe that's what I'll do uh, sometime this week. Anyway, keep an eye out, and um, thank you all so much for being here. Hope you're doing okay. Have a good night.